What is up guys, today we're going to check out this mini arcade system. Uh, this is model Q70, it's called Han Hai Bia. This is a replica of the iWo G1000 and Pal Kitty A12. Then there's, there's variants of these uh, mini arcade system. This one here, you can pretty much play all old school emulators. Um, I think it supports up to PS1, maybe some N64 games, although I haven't tried any N64 games on this device yet. Comes with two little controllers here, which are USB powered, so they just go at the back. It has a 7 inch TFT display. I mean, this resembles like a one of those Neo Geo minis, but probably better because you can play a lot more other games. I think this states that this comes with 5,000 games or more. On the back here, we have a HDMI, two USB ports for your controllers, um, headphone jack, memory card slot, TF card slot micro USB for charging, and the power button, and the speakers on the back here, side profile. I like the design of this, I mean it kind of fits pretty well as a handheld, as well as playing two player on this 7 inch screen, it's, it actually works pretty well. I paid around £45 just under fifty dollars for this. So there's a inbuilt two thousand five hundred milliamp lithium battery which you can charge via micro USB. The speakers are around three watts, I think. It's pretty loud for such a kind of small device. Quite like the little bass. There is a bit of bass in the uh, speakers. And it supports several different file formats, like mostly all the retro ones like Mega Drive and Game Boy. Some of the PS1s that I've tested don't work, like the bin and Q files don't seem to work. When you first boot it up, you're introduced by this logo screen. And it loads up pretty quick, like just under 10 seconds. Here's the interface, pretty favorited games up here which you can just load up. Most of these are the main ROMs, I think. Got Third Strike there. And go down here, can you see the controller icon that is where all your games are listed. You can also play music. View pictures put movies on there. This is just a file browser. And then the settings. Language select. Several different languages. Theme select, there's only two. The other one is like some random river. Play, timeout, backlight settings set to level 2. Key tone, I've turned it off because it kind of gets annoying with these sound clicks. But just to show you that here they are, that one's kind of ear piercing, so you don't really want that. So we're going to meet that. Store default settings and system information. So let's go ahead and try out one of these games here. Now the card that they give you is a 16 gigabyte micro SD, but you can upgrade that to a 64, I think is the maximum limit you can have on this device. Which is, I guess, more than enough for a lot of these retro games. So we have arcade games, um, Famicom, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Mega Drive, 
PS1 and Super Nintendo. You can try out a PS1 game. No, it only had Tekken on there originally, so I added a few games and it seems to work with eBoot PVP files, but not all of them. Um, I think this works best with CCD files. Um, this device doesn't pick up the bin and queue PS1 ROMs, um, which is a shame. Let's try Crash Bandicoot 2. Like I said, this unit is quite loud, so we're going to turn it up. There's a little bit of bass to it, which you kind of need for a little mini arcade. The screen quality is pretty good. Although when you look at a certain angle, because it's a TFT display, there's going to be some kind of viewing issues with the colours and that. Using the controller here. Now, the controller is okay. There are some issues with this. The D pad's a little bit rough. But like I can see it kind of hurting your thumbs after a while. I don't really like the analog here it's very stiff and it's like a flat style analog it doesn't click in or anything like that it was a bit awkward L and R buttons are here for some reason I don't know why they couldn't just add them up here which would make things a lot easier but you start and select and then you're like a B which is kind of like a Nintendo layout here I mean it's not too bad they for a little controller for mostly arcade games. Playing some PS1 games can be quite tricky. Now Crash Bandicoot 2 runs, runs pretty well. There's no kind of slowdown or anything like that. Some slight audio issues when you're doing a lot of things, but it's actually not that bad. find it a bit easier than using the d-pad with Crash Bandicoot. Shit. Let's try a different game. Back out we can press the return up here. Go to quick game. And this is basically RetroWatch, I think. As you can see, very similar layout here, but to a minimal quick game. Could try Tekken. Press A and then press A again. Now this analog's okay, it's a little bit loose as you can see when you go left and right. It can be quite tricky to be precise with this. Buttons feel okay. I think the buttons are actually not bad for mini arcade. You've got your two volumes, you return, you start and you select.
One of the uh, best Tekken intros there. Let's go and start an arcade mode. I'm going to use the joystick for this. It's made me uh, player two, I guess, because uh, I have this controller plugged in. I mean, this, the joystick actually works well for for Tekken. And again, no sort of like lag or slowdown. So yeah, there's Tekken. Games load pretty fast on this, and it takes like few seconds really and um, we can try the arcade game like I said most of these have been preloaded on here and they all have like screenshots which is very handy okay the only problem that I have with some of these ROMs that they've added here is uh, the way the order is is by number and not by alphabet so everything's kind of all over the shop and there's no way to I don't think there's any way to change that you can't select your favourite I don't think All you can do is just start the game. So that's my only gripe, I guess. <clears throat> the menu is very limited. I have no idea what game I picked. Dragon's Quest or something. It's just the original Dragon's Quest. can be quite hard to navigate like the game that you really want to play or save uh, these I don't know if you can change the front menu games <clears throat> this is Street Fighter 3 Third Strike I think this is the arcade version So just like in main, press select for the credits. The D-pad is very hard to use on this. But it works. This actually runs pretty well. Considering. Try one more. One more game. Now I tried a lot of these PS1 games that I've added on. Some of these don't work for some reason. Now this is Clayman, quite a rare game, which I believe only was released in Japan. It's like a point and click game, kind of like um, Monkey Island, I guess. Everything's all claymation. And I think it's all recorded, so it's like a FMV 
claymation type of game. It's pretty easy to save, you just click the menu and then save state and it works. It's actually it's quite fun trying this out, like a point and click game using the joystick here. Oops. This is quite a trippy game really. Very unique, like I've not actually played anything like this before. As you can see like this actually works pretty well with this joystick here. So it'll be interesting to try out different point and click games with this arcade machine. Something like Monkey Island or Broken Sword even. So that is pretty much it. You can change the control scheme if you want to. You can map your own controls. Um, again, I haven't tried this with another controller, but I do have a wired Xbox 360 controller, which maybe Let's see if this works. And it does. So that's cool, you can use your own controller. Well, I think you have to map it though. Yes, I mean it does work, but none of the buttons are mapped, so... Audio is a bit rocky on this one. I'm not sure if that's just the ROM itself or. Yeah, so Blade is a little bit slow, as you can see. It'll be interesting to see like what, how many games actually work with this device for the PS1. Um, I mean, with the N64, I doubt it can play many games on here. Other than that, I've pretty much covered most of the interface here. Um, put the ROMs on this, it's fairly easy. You just need a memory card reader. You drag and drop into the folders. Pretty straightforward. I haven't um, figured out how to put your own artwork and stuff, box art. Um, like I said, these were all preloaded and there. They're all just screenshots, really. I think you have to go by the this sort of resolution. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a pretty unique device. It functions pretty well as a mini arcade system. Um, I wouldn't get this if you you want to play like a Dreamcast or N sixty four. I don't think this is powerful enough for that. 
but for PS1 and below, you know, it's absolutely fine. You know, this actually seems better than a PS1 Mini or a Neo Geo because you can add all your Neo Geo games on here and add PS1 games and whatever old retro consoles you want to play. So yeah, not bad for just under fifty dollars. Uh, you can get these. You can get these from AliExpress. I'll leave the description below with a link that's not affiliated. But uh, if you want to pick one of these up, then you can do. Just click on the link of my description. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again on another review. Genesis, the best you go the world. Here we go. Get ready. ここまでに盛りバカだ。早く十分で商売したいよ。そう。私はもう少し二人を鍛えてる。空の上ですか。何を愛し、この辺りの鉄道だとか。大丈夫。二十になって何が出ても、この俺が守ってやる。<笑>